I know a lot of you guys out there are thinking, hey, you actually say a lot of stuff about Final Cut Pro for iPad, but I've only seen you ever do an overview of it. I've never seen you create a project using Final Cut Pro for iPad. Well, this video, that's what that's all about. I'm going to be using my Apple Pencil. There'll be a link in the description below if you want to purchase your own Apple Pencil because I promise it does make stuff quite a bit easier in some cases. Formatting, we can choose between custom or automatic. Let's leave it automatic for now. Hit continue. We will do files. Actually, we'll start with blank canvas, okay? It will be a lot easier because we're going to actually download some files by clicking this, clicking on files. Now, I did preload this to my iCloud so I could actually have this ready for you guys. What we're going to do is we're going to make a video that would be a video for my um one channel, for my gaming channel rather. So what we would do is we would hit open for both of those. So it would import both of those, but we're not finished yet. We have to import our main thing. See, because at this time, Final Cut Pro for iPad does not support external drives, which is why we have to use iCloud. We could put it on our device, but I'll be honest, I only got the either, I think, 256 gigs or 128, one of the two. So it doesn't have the most storage in the world. That's why I'm using my iCloud as an alternative, which is a good alternative. So what we would do here is we're going to drag this down here. Yep, and then we are going to actually drag the project down here as well. This is the project that we are working on. We have the inspector right there. Now we need the inspector open for a moment because I need to go to audio so I can see few things here. Let's see, audio effects. There's no audio effects, but we can add voice isolation. We long press so we can expand audio components. We can actually see the stereo there that we need. Now I'll be honest in the terms of Full disclosure, this isn't a hundred percent how I edit normally because normally on the desktop version anyway, there is an option to bring down a third audio component and then that third audio component would just sit below there. But it looks like, however, that that third audio component may not, it may not be an option here yet as of making this video. They will probably update stuff in the future. And just so you guys know, in case I, in case I wasn't clear about certain things, I can hit this button over here and then it's what's going to enable me to scroll through 
me in the way, but I need to scroll. Or I could just simply drag it here to see. And then after I'm finished, of course, uh, let's let's add a little bit of animation to it, shall we? So what we will do from here is we will see if we can add a little title, okay? This will be the title that we add. We can add it right there near the beginning. Then from there, we would hit the inspector, of course. Then name here, description here. I'm using the Apple Pencil, so I'll just type something because, yeah, we're just going to keep that. And then I know this might seem boring to you guys. If you guys want to see the rendered project, there will be time codes in the description below where it will actually be rendered out. And then we come over here to text to description here. Okay, we are going to go ahead and delete all of that. Then we are going to real quick type in SEOB SCRIBE. Subscribe. Yep. That's what we have there. Okay. And then we hit back there. And now let's see it in action. Subscribe. I tech. Okay. That's good. That's good. Now there is one more thing we want to do. And it's actually something pretty cool that you can only do currently on the iPad version of Final Cut Pro, which is we can grab this pen, for example, keep the color red. I don't know if you guys can see it here, but let's change the marking a bit shall we let's change that color to red and say we don't want you guys to see all this no you can't see it it's forbidden okay well i'm having way too much fun drawing that but anyway then we'd hit done and then what would happen is if we hit play right here this gets all drawn in like that, which honestly is not bad at all. It's not bad at all, if I may say so myself. Now, let's get to the thing that everyone wants to see, right? We want to render this out. We want to render a completed project out. Wait, wait, there's one more step. Before we render it out, I told you guys this is exactly how I would do stuff. So I would edit stuff a bit, which means pulling it back a bit. We're going to make it so it is two minutes yeah there we go perfect and that's how you edit on there now we're going to render it out right here we're going to, we can render it as a final cut pro project for final cut pro so keep in mind that is an option you can collect this and then it will export all the media included then we could open this project up in Final Cut Pro. If you want more of a detailed um, video of that, let me know comment section below. But 
for the purposes of this video, we're going to see the export time. So we are going to export the video. We want it to be... Okay, so it's saying... It's asking me if I want 4K. Huh, interesting. We'll make it 1080p. That's what we always usually do. We always usually do MP4 as well. High quality because we want high quality. But, oh, it looks like the high quality preset. Okay, so these are different presets here. Just, you know. That's showing you guys, I guess. Okay, that was ProRes. We're going to click Default. We're going to quick click that. 1080p. MP4. That's what we're going to export it in, okay? And when I click export, and it says exporting may take a few minutes. Keep Final Cut Pro open until it is complete. Now, I'm going to actually stay with you guys the whole time till it's complete so we can actually see. It is a 2 minute 20 second project overall because the end screen is exactly 20 seconds so as you can see on the timeline 2 minutes 20 seconds so we get to see how fast it's exporting this is an ipad m1 so it's not as fast as an M2, but it's relatively close. So, this should give you an idea. This is an iPad Pro M1. This should give you an idea of how fast things are going to render out. Honestly, this is... Okay, here's the thing. Rendering out I couldn't, I honestly could not tell you how long something takes to render on the Final Cut Pro on the desktop. Because one of the biggest differences is on the Final Cut Pro for desktop, it can render in the background and I can do other stuff like I can check out a YouTube video, or even start rendering another project. And I don't know if this is ever going to get that support, but this is where we are right now. We're at 65%, and yes, I could just speed this up and put the final time at the end, but instead I'm just going to take the time to give you guys my final thoughts on this while it's rendering. My final thoughts also include the rendering process. Now, it's not bad, okay? It doesn't seem bad anyway. Like I said, I don't know if it's faster than the I had, or rather, the Final Cut Pro on desktop version, but it doesn't seem bad. Look, it's ramping up to its final 99. Okay, and it fully completed. It's asking if it wants me to save to, if it wants me it to save to file, save video, we will save to files and then we can save it to the drive we can name it what we will time you know timeline one is what i'll keep it as 
and then export complete. The export was successful. And there we go. Now, in theory, we should actually be able to import that timeline one if we so wished. Okay, and then we open it up. And yeah, two minute, 20 seconds. There we go. Perfect right there. We can scrub through it right here and see what's going on there. And yeah, there we go. There we go. A fully rendered out project. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Okay. And with that said, I will catch you guys in the future. Later.